And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And a lot to be excited about because coming up for you, action from Liga. It's Racing Club de Lens against Girondin de Bordeaux. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Well, as far as the visitors are concerned, this is an exceptionally leaky defence. And, Stuart, something they're going to have to address. Well, I have to say, their defending has been really poor this season. No structure, a lack of leadership, and, dare I say, a lack of understanding. Unless that improves today, they won't get anything from this game. The starting lineup for Racing Club de Lens. Well, it looks as though they're lining up fairly defensively with a back five. But I think the wing-backs will have licence to get forward at every opportunity. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front two. Now, this is how Bordeaux will line up. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And the contest begins. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Sheikh Ducouré. Klaus. Ducouré. And that was a very fine read. Yasin Adli. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Adli. Gila Vogui. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Sheikh Ducouré. An awful lot of green space to run into. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Delivered into the box. A very effective clearance. This looks promising. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Yassine Adli. They do pass the ball with authority. Might really be able to trouble them here. Gila Vogui. He could pick out a teammate. Uda. Adley. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. On 
tidy on the ball. Firing it towards goal! Oh, goodness me, off the post. Kevin Danzo. Gael Kakuta. Chemiswar Frankowski. There to win it back. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late, and he deserved a booking for that. straight into the meat of the penalty area oh he really bruised the crossbar and cleared away Adley the cross is on and possibilities here still not clear Adley can they forge ahead and off the frame again Sheikh Ducouré. Excellent defending. Huang Ui Jo. Adli. Possession given away, unfortunately. Sotoka. And breaking at pace with Menace. Ducouré. Not an especially strong challenge. Well, as you can see, it's been really tight. And neither side has taken enough risk going forward. Hopefully that will change. And then we might get some entertainment. Oh, he's given the ball away. Jonathan Klaus. It's opening up for them. Well, good clean catch by the keeper. Yassine Adli. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Well, an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. Over it comes. So the referee blows his whistle for half-time. A tense contest so far, Stuart. What have you made of the visitors? Yeah, their defending has been good today. Such an improvement. And for me, the difference has been the centre-backs. They've made all the right decisions. Hopefully that continues in the second 45. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Klaus. Sheikh Ducouré. Seko Fofana. Well, he's lost it.
Frankowski. Kakuta. Seko Fofana. Promising possession, this. That's high level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Who can he pick out? The crossbar got in the way. Well cleared away. Well, they're certainly getting closer. You just sense that the goal is coming. They're playing so well at the moment. Mbe Niang. Well, that ball looks promising. Crossing possibilities. Mbe Niang. Adli. It comes to absolutely nothing. Jonathan Klaus. And threading it forward. Well, the pass in behind the defence. Quick thinking from the keeper. Retaining possession, proving difficult. Well, attacking possibilities. Now, potential danger. And crossed in there. Not messing around with that clearance. Albert Ellis, Mbe Niang, going well, still level here, but the pressure escalating, could be, and he couldn't bag the first goal of the contest. Well, I can't believe he's missed the target there, that's a poor finish. Cheikh Ducouré. 20 minutes to go. Kakuta. Ducouré. Gael Kakuta. And the pass could do damage. And a goal! Just when we wondered if this might finish nil nil. There it is, they're in front. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider a quarter of an hour remaining here and just couldn't keep the ball Frankowski and on the ball Danzo And scope for them to produce something exciting. A 
and he takes it on. Oh, a smart save to keep the minute. Well, that keeps it interesting, but they're running out of time here. Making progress, but they dealt with the threat posed. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. Now still pressing for a goal here. Targets available, cross comes in. And the flag had to go up, it wasn't close. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Sotoka. an easy one to cut out really the referee has decided that two admits are in order Mbe Niang how can they find a late leveller let's fly here not out of the woods yet the referee blows for full time it ends at a victory for the home team no complaints from the fans here well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory.